Hello guys, welcome back to another YouTube video with Tank for today. And today we're doing what boys and girls I'm glad you asked because today we're back on World Tanks console. That's right. And what we're doing on World Tanks console, that tank. Well, today we're taking a look, or uh, you want to say it, taking uh, doing a tank review. Not take a look again. Doing a tank review on the newest French or Western Alliance heavy tank or main battle tank, whatever way you want to call it, the Leclerc T4. And I gotta say guys, by having this machine, it feels really good as a main battle tank in Air 3 for the French. I don't know how the German Leopard one feels, but this thing feels pretty freaking good in my opinion. Um, it hits hard, it's a quick tank, its armor is alright in some areas, in some spots where you're going to be in and stuff like that. But this thing, is it worth 6,000 gold? I gotta say, yes. If you have played the original Leclerc at Air 3, which is the non-premium version of the vehicle, this one is definitely worth it. It gets a bigger gun, so the 120. This one gets 140. So yeah, we're going to be taking a look at some of the stats for the vehicle. And also, after we are done within the garage, we're also going to go into a gameplay and see how this vehicle performs. So, let's get started. By standard, by its uh, standard rounds, which is, I believe, APCR rounds, or APCR DS rounds, oh my goodness, it's a big word. 848 meters pen, with its HE rounds, it gets around 320, um, with its standard ammunition around 700 uh, damage, and 870 for its HE. It gets around 3,750 hit points, and it can go up to 71 miles per hour. View range is 577. And concealment is 442. And um, yeah. Of course, we also get, you know, that big, awesome 140 meter smoothball barrel gun. Uh, the ray of fire is 6.98 rounds per minute. Accuracy uh, 100 meters is 0 0.27. We already said about the damage and the pen. And yes, it gets APFSDS rounds and hash not HE. And can carry up to 55 rounds. So it's not bad. My equipment, I have to say, now you can put out whatever you want to on this vehicle, but I put, put Proof of Ventilations, uh, which crew performance is 5% more, uh, Advanced Loader, load time is 10% more, um, so definitely something you would want to have for a gun this caliber, especially if you're also playing a Russian 152 caliber gun. <laughs> Um, and then I also put gun stabilizer and proof show accuracy while moving. Uh, vehicle move, uh, movement accuracy is 20% and turn rotation accuracy is also 20%. So make sure you get that first shot out or even the second shot when there's a light tank surrounding you in a circle death circle, I guess you could say. I put um, on my tank, I put uh, all premium consumables. That's what I do with all my premium tanks. Um, of course, I put the premium repair kit. I also put a premium smoke screen and a premium paw patch kit, which helps get you more health. The um, smoke screen, which can help you if you want to retreat and stuff, uh, it will help you with that. And then also I have around 50 rounds of my AP FSDS rounds, around five rounds of a hash. I just guess if I want to hit those light Leoma targets, but yeah. And then there's no upgrades. Of course, my commander, my perks on my commander is put uh, rapid loading when 10% increase to gun reload speed, which is really good, like I said, with this gun. So you want to get this gun firing as fast as you can. And then steady aim, 10% increase to accuracy. Again, you kind of want that accuracy as well. And then snapshot, 12% increase to uh, accuracy during turn rotation, which again, you want that to happen with this vehicle. And then rapid aim, 10% increase to turn and gun rotation speed, uh, which is a very helpful thing. But you can put whatever else you want on your commander. I mean, I guess you could put, if you really want to go there, six cents, uh, just in case you want to put this in there. But honestly, with how World Things Cons is, you really don't need six cents, do you? Because the game would already let you know when you're getting spotted. So, in a way, this would be kind of a useless skill, especially in Cold War, um, because there's true vision, so it doesn't matter if you do get spotted. Uh, 
points by using this one. But, you know, you could use it if you want to. Or you want to use this. I mean, if you want to use it, um, assertional awareness, which is 6% increase to max view range, which will help you spot farther. But that's totally up to you. Or if you want to play as a uh, stealthy version of this vehicle, I wish we could have two builds for this, or at least like two areas for perks, maybe. That would be cool. Like one side of perks where we can have like a, uh, a consumer build, and another one's like a powerful, hard hitting build, I guess you could say. Uh, but yeah, you could take whatever else you want, but uh, that's my idea. Uh, I really want to get this gun firing as fast as I can, and also, you know. Uh, have the good accuracy. Of course, there's appearance. The uh, then we have armor. So the armor, it, it's it's pretty decent. The lower plate, which is not that mid plate right there, uh, but the lower plate, if you do show that, that will get pinned. And you're, if you're using your full gun depression as well, which we'll be going over here in a few minutes, uh, really makes this vehicle pretty decent, and it will bounce a good bit of shots. So we got six meter thickness, which is the Little bits, which is underneath, like where the engine deck is kind of is, or the current is, where it ain't gonna matter. Then we got 10 meter sickness, which is all the space armor all over the place, and the two little fuel, two little, two fuel tanks in the rear of the tank. Then we have 20 meter sickness, which is these little spots here and there, even the sides of the turn of the rear where the uh, ammunition gets, and more space armor in the belly of the tank. Then we have 25 meter sickness, which is the how do you want to say that? I think that's like a view range finder, um, which also is a weak spot on this vehicle. If you're using a full gun depression, you're still going to get hit by that thing. And then we add uh, 30 meter sickness, which is the tracks, more space armor protection on the side of the turret, um, and also a little bit more space armor on the front of the hull. Then we got 35 meter sickness, which is the sides and a, the protection for the ammunition, where the ammunition goes be up, be up in the rear of the turret. We got 40 meter sickness, which looks like the turret ring a little bit, and the roof deck of the uh, turret, of the rear of the turret, and the rear of the turret where the ground goes out of. 45 meter sickness, which is the side bits right here on the hull and on the turret. Then we got 50 meter sickness, which is gun and the forehead of the tank and the actual armor within inside the uh, other armor spacing. Uh, uh, 60 meter sickness, which is the lower plate and more space armor on the sides, both left and right of the front of the tank. Then we got also 70 meter sickness of armor, which is these two bits right here on top of the roof of the turret. Then we got an 80 meter sickness of armor, which is the gun mantlet or within the gun mantlet. Hmm. Uh, 100 meter sickness, which is around the gun within the gun mantlet, it looks like. And then we have 110, which is more space armor rear of the turret looks like, and also the turret ring itself. Then we have 150, which looks like back of the turret underneath. Then we have 190, which is both left and right of the frontal part of the turret, so the back of the turret. Then we have 200, which is the upper plate, which with angling and also using your full gun depression, you're really going to use that armor a good bit. It's probably not the best, but it will bounce a good bit of shots off of it especially if someone just snapshots onto it and stuff like that so yeah and then we have 240 which is a little bit right here uh where the cheeks are kind of then we have 280 which is these little bits here and there uh, around the front of the turret and the sides of the turret a little bit then we have 290 which is this little bit over on this side so on the other side then we have 300 which is the protection i believe it's where the uh Oh my goodness, uh, what is it called? The uh, fuel tank and the driver sits. So yeah. Then we have 320, which is this a little bit right here, right below the Pathfinder, I think that is called. I could be wrong, please miscorrect me if I am wrong in the comments down below. And then we have 320, which is the side bits of the hull and the both top and low bit of this side of the turn and over here on this side of the turn. Then we have 350, which is a little bit right there, which is going to be pretty hard to get to. 370, which is that little part right there. Uh, 410, which looks like the whole gun mallet, and these two little bits both left and right of the tank. Then 520, which is right below the range finder or 
what is that thing called? I don't we're optics, I think, or something like that. Then we have 550, which is this side of the tank. I believe this is the left. I could be wrong. Or right. Right? Maybe? <laughs> uh, which is 550, which is pretty decent because it's sloped out a little bit. Especially if you shoot like this, maybe you might actually bounce. Then we have 570, which is on this side. Uh, that little bit right there, and plus that uh, mid plate of the hull. So, yeah. And where is it? Modules. So, let's see. Uh, the crew. Where is the crew? Yeah, so there's the driver right there. And of course, you only get three people within the tank, but this thing is pretty strong anyways. So, yeah. But let's go over some of the uh, other stuff with the tank. So, Top reverse speed is 32 miles per hour. Horsepower is 1,500. Power to weight ratio is 26.13. And uh, intro, crypt, intro fire uh, chance, which means how much we do get, get caught on fire, is 10%, which arrives. You don't really get caught on fire that much with the tank. So, yeah. Um, hull uh, hull rotation, t rotation speed is 38 seconds. Uh, soft terrain resistance is 2.06. Uh, medium terrain resistance is 1.27. And uh, frame terrain? Am I reading that right? Frame for farm terrain resistance is 1.08. Um, detectability range is still uh, sitting still. Am I right? Yeah, detectability range by sitting still is 442.71. The ability range by moving is 466.71. B range, we already, I think we said already said by the B range to be. If we didn't, it's a 577.15, and the signal range is 745.70, which no one's really going to worry really want to talk about the uh, signal range. And then let's talk about the gun. Uh, turn rotation speed is 45.15 seconds. Um, accuracy during um, Rotation is 0 0.59, max uh, elevation is 20 uh, set degrees, and max depression is 8. So that 8 degrees will really help you out a lot. Reload time is 8.60, uh, rate of fire is 6.98, accuracy uh, 100 meters, we've already said that. Um, what's that? Accuracy during movement is 1.55, aim time is 2.06 uh, seconds. Truck per crib is one because it's not an autoloader. You would think it would be because it's a French tank. Some French tanks are autoloaded except the MX-30. So, yeah. Um, of course, no intercrypt reload because it's not an autoloader. It can carry up to 55 rounds. Of course, we've already said about what kind of ammunition it has. Um, and we've already talked about the other parts of the vehicle, of the damage and also the pen and all that. I know we didn't say about module damage, but to be honest, if you're hitting something with this gun, you're more Georgie going to pen, unless if you're hitting a part of an armor that you're not going to be penning most of the time. But more majority of the times, you are going to pen most things that you're going to be hitting. So yeah. And then premium bonus. Well, we've already said this, but when we've already seen the vehicle. So yeah. And that's it for that. And that is basically it for the tank review within the garage for the AMX... Uh, Amex, Leclerc T4 Terminator, or am I saying that name right? I really don't know. I don't think I am, but yeah, uh, this vehicle is just awesome in its own right. So, is it really worth it? I gotta say it is. If you're looking forward to picking this thing up, you should definitely pick this vehicle up there, guys. It's really fun to play. When you get into those matchups, you're going to feel like you're going to really play really well. And if you're just showing your turret and using that 8 degrees of down depression, your armor really works. Now, sometimes, if you're using that gun depression, there's no way of hiding it. People will shoot that, uh, I believe it's the range finder right there, because it pops out so much more than the rest of the tank. But still, at the point of that, um, if you're still playing this vehicle and stuff like that it, it still could be a really good vehicle um even with that low range finder above it i gotta say it's worth getting picking up and stuff like that and press don't forget once you pick the vehicle up you'll also get this awesome wonderful 3d uh premium skin for the vehicle too so keep that as a moment 
as well. But I guess that's enough for the dribble driver the guys. Let's go see what this vehicle can do on the battlefield. I'll see you guys there. So guys, we are back on Runenberg, and this was actually a pretty good game for me. Uh, this is when I first got the tank, so do you keep this reminded? Um, I was still testing the vehicle out, but the vehicle, yeah, it, it does perform pretty decently well on a city map, even though being French, we all know about that. Um, French vehicles are not really good for the armor, but this little player here, I felt comfortable with playing it. Now, if you're side scraping, do not over side scrape um, with this vehicle because if you do decide to do that, do not show too much of your side because I, well, with the guns at this era, will definitely uh, pin your side on the pretty decent rain pretty well. Um, we are going to be seeing that here within this gameplay. Um, so do keep in mind that your sides don't, they aren't unpendable. Now, if you start showing maybe your front part where your um, space armor is, you do have that better protection to protect there, but yeah. Uh, but as you can see, my reload's not that bad in this vehicle. And I believe at the time, too, as I was uh, testing the vehicle out, I don't think I was using equipment either, so I'm sorry for that, but I uh, did buy the equipment. Not too long ago, but we do found someone the MBT 78. We did create him and also pinned him at the same time using my standard around. So, as you can see, I'm trying to size break here a little bit. I'm still testing the vehicle out and I'm looking for either that MBT 70 uh, or the other vehicle. But just the MBT 78, I do put a nice shot onto him, crack him again, it looks like, and I'm getting some good assistance off him. And someone hits me, it looks like it could be a Dunner Ruffler T4. Um, yeah, I think I'm over angry here but we do crack that rock flare but he does hit me and smack my side as you can see there not the best of uh side scraping but like i said still trying was was testing this vehicle out and we do pin him as well so this vehicle can't really side scrape that that good especially at this type of angle we're trying to side scrape and then as you see i'm going farther even back so the way he does not hit me I'm trying to still see if I can get a good shot. He gets one good one into me, but could have been my little fright. Um, and I think he tracked me as well, so I used my, um, what's it called? Repair kit, and also using my hot back. And our first miss in the game. Okay, so that was Neural Flare, but I think uh, he gets taken out, does he? Uh, we won't reload that other guy, and we actually hit that guy um, with our accuracy and stuff, which is actually held up for us nice and we are about to have a huge ball game around this corner right here with other enemy tanks other luck flares at this point yeah there's gonna be a lot of these things in the matchmaker uh because it is a new tank but we are getting some assistance on those guys over there and decided to come over here because well just a good bit of guys over here you know at the time there was not enough allies but we do hit that guy and he does hit us back but we both hit each other within the little fright you see I'm looking backwards and I should have done that, but lucky thing my armor hold up, my upper plate, he only shot my upper plate. Suddenly though, I didn't get a good shot on that object for 90, um, and you see I'm looking back again, uh, because I do remember seeing a Leclerc T4 back there, so I didn't want him coming up from behind and trying to target the ass, but we do get our first kill, which is another Leclerc T4. I'm still looking back there, so I'm afraid of that Leclerc coming behind and shooting us in the booty. Uh, but he does not. He does not. But you're still looking for shots over there. We really don't want to give my little prey because, like I said, the little prey is a decent sized target. And uh, a lot of things will able to pin our up lower plate, not our upper plate. Uh, but our allies are doing pretty well as well in this corner. I guess say we are doing. So that's why I'm not really going to try to size crate because one of my teammates is also trying to use this corner. And that left player actually bounced and I bounced off his upper plate as well, which yeah, at the point I was still looking. <laughs> um, I thought that other one would come up and try to hit us while we are painted with his um, allies. And this bloody gun! Uh, ally gun. Can't really get a good shot on that luck flare. I'm looking for a shot. Hit his um, V range finder, which I critted as well. So, okay, it's a weak spot and can still get a decent enough pen. I'm worried about that object over there. 
uh, even though he only has like 125 pound gun, not the biggest gun at Arrow 3. And we're looking for a nice shot into this guy, which we get by shooting underneath that dead luck player's um, gun. I know I'm saying a lot later <laughs> um, within this uh, video. And can we get a kill on this luck player? Oh, uh, can we get a kill? Oh, no, never mind. We can't. But we do shoot that luck player at his lower plate and still track him. I think he either tracked him or damaged something. Great as uh, as far as I know. But I am using this dead luck player as uh, like a little bit of like uh, I guess you could say space. But we do hit that luck player again and he gets taken out. Uh, so we got probably tracked him, I believe, because we got some assists. So that's pretty good right there. So far, one kill, but not bad at this time because we are up to 5,000 damage. You will be racking up that damage pretty much with this vehicle. And we see this a weasel. And watch this shot. Watch it. Are we go? Yeah. Bingo, boys and girls. A good shot on that weasel. And he's he's trying to get the heck out of here, but sadly, we aren't going to get a shot onto that weasel. And at this point, might see my teammate fighting a K1. And I'm, I'm thinking maybe I should help this guy. Uh, we do his tracks. Oh, actually, no. We get the kill too. Awesome. And I guess at the point, I was thinking maybe we should go this way. But then I was thinking maybe over here because that teammate was like pushing up as well. And I kind of don't really want to leave him because he's a one shot. And he's looking at me like, you can go first, but you got more hit points. So I'm, I'm thinking, okay, yeah. I, I probably do have more hit points. I mean, I do have more hit points. I have a thousand some hit points left. He only has like a little bit and it looks like he's kind of confused a little bit too where to go i don't want to race over there because i know there's still a weasel and i'm using my hall patch as you see i'm um, using premium ones which i'm trying to reverse but i don't want that weasel surprising me um due because of these alleyways uh that's part of the reason why i'm looking all over the place because i know there's still at least a weasel but i see my teammates playing against something up here so i'm gonna help out and uh well i was kind of laying on that trigger wasn't i I could have gotten another kill, but oh well. It's it's not about the point of the killing, it's about having teamwork and stuff like that. And that's why I'm deciding to follow my team. Um, because there is two enemy tanks left, and one of them is a weasel, which can do a thousand some damage with his ATGM. So don't really want that when he's shoving those things up my booty. <laughs> don't want no freaking ATGM my boot, my booty, but uh, yeah. And as you see, this tank can go quick. And there is whoa, that guy right there, but are we going to get a nice shot to him? I don't think we are, because he is in there uh, pretty much staying still, and that Luffler takes him out. So, okay, where's this weasel? Well, to be honest, I really don't want to go looking for this thing. He could be anywhere on the map. He is small, he's fast, though we have food that we can hit the weasel. It's just, he's very small, very stealthy. Very fast, he has hard hitting AT jams, he has a long reload, but you know, it's still at the point of trying to look for the guy, and we don't know where he could be hiding at. Though, we don't get to find him at all in this matchup. No. Uh, so, we actually get the cap out. Uh, but we're going to show you guys the whole thing is to show you guys we did not find him. As you can see, we have a Leclerc going over that way. I'm sitting inside the cap circle because I know this is a weasel we're talking about. I'm not feeling like going after this guy and throwing the game because we want to find the last guy on the enemy team. But this vehicle, I have to say, in my opinion, your opinion might differ if you do have this vehicle. Please put down in the comments below what you think about the Luck Flare T4. Uh, but my opinion, it is a solid tank. Is it overpowered? Mm, no. I mean, it can be damaged, and unlike the Ombre 477A, it, it does have a weak spot on top of the turn, but we still take this game. That weasel was actually down that road over there. Yeah, there's that. But that's gonna be it for this video, there, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please leave a like on the video. Try to turn if you guys want to. I'm like, oh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.